morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now I've got some very, very exciting news here. As you can see, I've got some key line cuts running in over my left hand shoulder. Now we've done these uh, quite a while ago now, uh, probably about two or three weeks ago. And because we're on the sort of the eastern side of the property here at Fat Cow Farm, and I was up here looking at um, some of our calves, and I thought, oh yeah, I'll just have a look at the one above me. And it's actually working to what the intention was. So with the key line cuts, as you remember, we've cut these in with our pipe layer, our single tine pipe layer. And we've come through. Now, it's what I've noticed is that the this one here, um, you can see some of the sort of water reeds and that's sort of an indication to me here at Fat Cow Farm where we've got a lot of moisture in the ground and what's happened is that we've cut through a seep and so what's happening is that with this one and I wanted to sort of fill this ridge just behind me here and I wanted to get some moisture back up into that sort of area and and I want to show you how these key lines actually are working. All right, so let's go up to this one here and I'll show you what it's all about. So I'll see you soon. All right, so I've had a closer look at this seep and what I want to show you is this little guy here. So you'll be able to see the sand bubbling. Now it's only a small little bubble. Um, but water is certainly coming out. And here we are in the middle of the paddock. And if you look up the hill, you can see, you know, that's the top of the rocky knoll. Um, and like, again, you know, we haven't had rain. Wow, it's, 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 look, it's been a really long time. And we're still getting a lot of moisture out of the ground. Now, I knew that this was a wet area but I didn't realize how wet it was. So what's happening now is that this moisture was just running down this valley, or little gully, back into our lake that we have down here. Seeping in, you know, wasn't anything major. And it just happened as a part of our contour. And you can see, like I've still got paint where my contour was. But this is what I wanted to show you. Look at this. <laughs> this here is all water running straight through this key line cut. Now, what's... Um, but if we go to the other side, it's dry. So what we have here you know it's it's moist but it's not as wet. So the way that we work this system was based on PA Yeoman's sort of principles that yep we're going to catch a lot of runoff and that's what the intention was. But we're on a downhill slight gradient going back to the ridge. Now, what I wanna do is just show you how far it is. All right, so if you guys stay there, and this is the main area of the water coming in. So this is where we are so far, as a part of the moisture. And that's probably a good, I don't know, maybe 15 meters or so, 10, 15 meters. So in that space of trying to capture water and redirect it, because like I said, I want to run it to this little ridge here that I have, we're now starting to spread the water sideways rather than just have it come down as one. So, you know, it just shows you that 
as a part of your planning, as a part of working with what you've got, especially on your farms, you know, you might have a wet area like this. And look, and I wouldn't think that that's any more than maybe one litre every five or six hours, you know, like it's, it's a very, very small seep. But now we're capturing it and sending it back towards the ridge here. So, you, you know, you can see, oh, there it is there. You know, so you've got water passing all the way through now. And here's a clearer spot. So you can see all the water in there, you know, and that's, look at, and that's just shitty clay. But what's happening is that, you know, it's, it's mixing up all those soils. And we have a clay pan here, and this is what we want to try and rectify, is to get that moisture back into these subsoils. But from a little trickle like that what we've got there to something, you know. I mean, how fantastic is that? And this is really what it's all about. It's, it's trying to manage the situations and you know, like the little seeps and the springs and, and, and rain fall. And that's really what this is all about is to, to capture the rainfall as it comes down the hill. Cause we're on a quite, I wouldn't say a steep gradient, but we're certainly on a gradient and maybe five degrees, something like that. So, you know, these, these little um, key lines are certainly going to stop the, the runoff we get to keep that, that rain. And because we're on that small little gradient that we were talking about before, it's now going to start feeding this ridge coming through here. So I, I was really, really pumped up about it. And I just wanted to explain, you know, with these key lines, how it actually all works. Because I tell you what, you know, for, for PA Yeoman to work this out back in the twenties, and here we are in, well, 100 years ago. So, well, yeah, 100 years fast forward, here we are and we're still looking at his principles. And so really what's gonna happen now is that in between these key line cuts, so you've got one here and got one there, when it's time for us to start sowing some seeds, we're gonna follow this, these contour lines and we go from there. So, you know, that's the theory. And, um, and I've got another seep up the top there that we'll have a quick little look at now, um, but I don't think it's as successful as this. So anyway, let's go up further up. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are, you know, getting closer to the top of this little rocky knoll that we've got here at Fat Cow Farm. And you might be able to pick up all the little, the bees that have come in. Because what we have in this line here is another little seat. Um, and they're coming in for a drink and all that sort of stuff in, in all the puddles. Now, this one's working also, and, I, and I'm a bit surprised about it, but there's a lot of moisture in there. And that's starting to trail off this way and then behind me as well. So, you know, it's, um, I tell you what, it's tr when you start your your planning and your measurement and your management, really working to what you have on site. So if you have any little seeps like this, they're certainly worthwhile tapping into. I mean, you can see, you know, it's very very moist here anyway, but this sort of trails off into nothing. So you know, let's capture it and push it in directions that you want it to go with a slight little um, decline and um, and you can go from there. So I just thought I'd just, you know, just make that apparent that, you know, it's been some time since these key lines have been in and I thought, oh yeah, we'll check them out and see what it's all about. And they're capturing water. And because we've got a clay base here, what's happening is that, you know, it's it's sort of the, the, the single ripper has cut a nice channel and the water is just starting to flow.
So obviously it caves in a little bit, but as the water gets to that, that makes it all soft and gooey and then keeps on moving, mo moving, 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 moving. So look, I was really pumped up because we don't have this on our original site um, on the other side of Fat Cow Farm. And you know, they're purely just designed for, for runoff and for rain events and things like that. We're here, um, we can actually capture what's coming out of the ground, send it sideways, and then have a larger sort of effect running downhill. All right, so all about planning your key line cuts based on PA Yeoman's theory and working around the assets that you have um, on your property or your farm. Like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.